So a proposed constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage comes to a vote in North Carolina coming up in May. The state Senate recently voted 30 to 16 in favor of letting people choose. Marriage equality supporters are now staging rallies to get support. North Carolina is the only state in the Southeast without a constitutional ban. And my next guest is joining the fight against this discrimination, country music star Shelly Wright. She joins me live in studio. Shelly, it's nice to have you here today. Great to be here with you, Tony. So we have these rallies that have been taking place in the Capitol in Raleigh. I know you've just returned freshly from that rally yesterday. What's your reaction, though, that this is now going to be put out to a vote in May for North Carolinians to decide, a majority to decide the, ro the, the rights of a minority? Yeah, well, I returned uh, from Raleigh last night, and it was an emotional couple of days there as the House and the Senate um, did their voting and a lot of political maneuvering. And I have to say, um, it's my opinion that this is a cynical, unnecessary political move to get out the conservative vote. And it's unfair. Uh, it's an unfair act uh, being leveled against a lot of North Carolinians who are doing their best to just live their lives. And, you know, I might add that uh, marriage, the laws that exist in North Carolina right now prohibit uh, same-sex marriage. So this is essentially putting a deadbolt lock on an already locked door. This is a sucker punch to the LGBT community, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's disgusting. It seems like there are bigger fish to fry, as you're pointing out, going on in North Carolina. Why is this such a polarizing issue in the state? Uh, it's polarizing because uh, the, the conservative right, uh, they, they know that button to push. And, it, you know, as we watched the segment you had uh, prior to this one about what's going on in the, the GOP race and uh, what's going on with Perry and Bachman, boy, we can tell we've got a big election coming up in 2012, can't we? Um, this is a hot button issue, and uh, the conservative right knows exactly what, as we say in the, in the South, what button to mash. <laughs> and this this is a uh, this is the button that they like to push. They like to uh, use a, p a minority group such as LGBT uh, people as political pawns. And, and I want to mention that um, you know the, the LGBT minority group is a unique and different kind of minority, uh, largely a voiceless uh, group of people, especially in the South. I, I've made my home in Tennessee for the past 22 years. I live in New York and, and, and Nashville, Tennessee as well. And we are the most inclined group of people, the uh, lesbians and gays, to speak up. We are voiceless. And, and um, so we have a hard time making, making our positions known. And uh, the conservative right knows just how to, how to get uh, the conservative right to get out the vote. And that's what this is. Certainly this is very personal for you, as you've just recently tied the knot with your partner Lauren yeah. uh, and we have a wedding picture to prove oh, it. Do? Oh, do you? We do right there. You, oh, guys, you guys tweeted yeah. this uh, of the happy day and you yes. both look beautiful so we say Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Uh, but why has this become so much more of a vocal and personal crusade for you as you see what's taking place around the country but knowing where you come from at such a happy time in your life? Well, I feel uh, to whom much is given, uh, much is required. And I've been fortunate in my life to, to gain a public voice. And when I decided to come out as the first openly gay country music singer uh, last year in May, I wanted to help kids. I wanted to help youth. And I would do a lot of work with GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight mm -hmm. Education Network. And I, you know, that the work we do with GLSEN is to eradicate bullying in public schools. And I have to say that uh, what we're seeing in North Carolina is bullying of the highest order by legislators. And I can't sit back and watch it happen. It's, it's disgusting. It's a black eye on the South. I, I, I'm a, I consider myself a southerner and I'm embarrassed. Uh, while you talk about the fact that you do have this personal message that you want to convey, you did uh, become prominent because of your country music singing career and there's one statement that you gave in an interview in the LA Times that I want everybody to see because it's a pretty galvanizing statement. You said they would rather you were a drug addict than be gay. They will forgive you if you beat your wife, lose your kids to the state, get six divorces, make a sex tape, get labeled as a tramp. Any and all of it is better than being gay. As outspoken as you are about this, do you still stand by that statement? I do stand by that. Um, you know, there's a rumor about people like me. Uh, there's a rumor that we're a godless people and an immoral people. Um, I am not. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian woman who I'm proud of the way that I've lived my life. Um, and I want to stand up and be an example. 
Um, but I, I, you know, sometimes, sometimes in my world, I'm uniquely positioned in the country music world. A lot of country fans know who I am. And I did gain a lot of success in country music. And I feel like if I have a chance, a forum to talk and to let people know that, uh, that otherwise would think that they never knew and loved a gay person, it's my opportunity to say, you, you did, and you loved her, and you stood in line at her concerts, and um, that's my opportunity uh, to stand out and, and, and step out and use my voice, and I'm going to do it. Well, country music star Shelley Wright, nice to see you. And again, congratulations to both you and Lauren. Uh, the pictures were great, so Thank we appreciate you. you coming in today, too, and talking to us. Thanks, Thomas. Absolutely.